This problem is created by British mathematician Edward Mann Langley in 1922. The problem is also called as Langley's adventitious angles. In the problem, we have an isosceles triangle with a 20 degree apex angle. And for the given angles, we need to find the angle with the question mark. This video will be the first solution of the specific problem. There are many other nice solutions for this, and I'm planning to create a playlist of solutions for this problem. Now let's start our first solution method. First focus on triangle EBC. We can find angle E of this triangle using the sum of internal angles. From this equation, angle E will be 50 degrees. And let's see this angle on the question also. We see that this triangle has equal base angles, so it's an isosceles triangle. Which means its legs should be equal in length. Now let's draw a line segment from point B, making a 20 degree angle with line segment BC. So angle DBK will be 40 degrees. Let's also show that on the diagram. Now focus on this triangle. We can find angle K of this triangle using the sum of its internal angles. Solving for K will give us 80 degrees. Let's also see that on the diagram. From here we can see that this is also an isosceles triangle with 80 degree base angles. Therefore line segments BK and BC will be equal in length. Now let's connect point E and K and focus on triangle EBK. Notice that it has a 60 degree vertex angle and equal legs EB and BK. That means this is an equilateral triangle. So all three internal angles are 60 degrees and all three sides are equal in length. Now focus on this triangle again. Using exterior angle theorem on this triangle, we can write this equation. From here, angle EKD can be found as 40 degrees. Let's see that on the diagram also. Now focus on this triangle. We can find angle D of this triangle using the sum of internal angles. And from here, angle D will be 40 degrees. Let's also show that on the question. Now we see that this triangle has equal base angles of 40 degrees, so it is an isosceles triangle. So the corresponding sides must be equal in length. Finally, let's pay attention to this triangle. As you can see, this is also an isosceles triangle. Now if we call our unknown angle as A, the other base angle will be 40 plus A. So let's write the sum of internal angles of this triangle. From here 120 plus 2A will be equal to 180. And so our answer will be 30 degrees. Don't forget to check the playlist for other solutions of this nice and fun problem. I'll see you next time.